welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Nobody knows. But what I do know is that this is the continuation of my photo inspiration collaboration series. Uh, that's a lot of words. Uh, and I am absolutely delighted that the person I'm collabing with on this occasion is the beautiful Anya, also known as Pink Sweets. So, you should be watching me in black and white right now. I really hope editing Angie remembered to do that. So if you want to see exactly which photo is the inspiration for us today and what this looks like in glorious Technicolor, then you are in precisely the right place. If you're new to this and you're wondering what on earth is going on, my photo collab series, one photo inspires two different people to do, so far, two very different looks. So, if you want to see which colours called to me most to become part of my eye look, and then afterwards check out which colours appealed to Anya, in her eye look, get yourself comfy, because here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Right, hopefully the intro was in black and white. <laughs> Haven't forgotten yet, but it was the first time, um, which will have given you a clue. Well, um, come on, the thumbnail and the, the title of the video gives you a clue. Um, this is the next instalment, sorry I've got a lash in my eye and it's driving me crazy. Uh, this is the latest instalment on my photo collaboration series and I'm collabing with somebody new to my channel this time. It's someone that I followed for, god, months. Um, she started her channel I think about a month after I started mine. Um, she loves colour. She also has chronic illnesses um, so she knows what chronic pain is like. So we've kind of bonded over that. Um, I will have shown you her picture in the intro, but I'll pop it here again. This is Anya, also known as Pink Sweets on YouTube. I will link her channel and her video in the description box. <clears throat> so as always, um, when I first... Um, when we're first discussing this collab, I always say, even on the first one, do you want to choose the picture or shall I? And so far everyone's gone, no, 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 you choose. Um, so I chose, it, it's um, similar to my previous one, where <clears throat> alcohol is fast frozen and then looked at under a very, very, I think it's an electron microscope, but I know looked at under a very, very powerful microscope. So you can actually see all the crystals and everything that the alcohol forms. And it's fascinating because Guinness, which obviously is a black drink, comes up like lime green and you're like, wow. So it's really fascinating. Um, <clears throat> and the one that I've chosen, partly because she's called Pink Sweets, so I wanted to choose one with quite a bit of pink in it, is Saki, which looks like that. Now obviously, I have it on my thin, because I haven't edited that in yet, I'm pointing at thin air. <clears throat> hey fever, sorry folks. So you can see the bulk of that is um, sort of hot pink, yellows, mustards, um, sort of like russety ready browns, with that beautiful little pop of blue and a tiny little smudge of purple. So I thought, fantastic, perfect. So I'm going to be using my Zodiac Love Signs palette that Hubby got me for Valentine's Day, 
which if you remember if you've watched my review of this normally I chuck these away I have to keep hold of this because when Leo arrived it was broken now I've done my best to smush it back in but I don't really want to hold this up to the camera for too long but as you can see there's a lovely hot pink and a lovely hot pink and some yellows and mustards and there's even some blues and some sort of like purpley blue at the top there so I thought this would although I like using a lot of different palettes sometimes it's nice to see if one palette can do a whole look and the first couple of, um, of films of these that I did um, I used my slush palette which was awesome but I didn't want you to get bored of me constantly using the same palette so and I haven't used this one very much yet because I've had so many others that I need to review um, and I wanted to play with it a little bit more so um, this channel is aimed at all skill levels from absolute beginners to absolute experts I'm not claiming to be an expert by the way um, and um, I just I remember what it was like when I was learning and how frustrating it was when they'd say oh we're zooming and they'd zoom in like to about here and you're looking at it on your phone thinking <clears throat> picture I can't see what you're doing what you, what, what, uh, so I zoom right in so you can see what I'm doing. On tutorials, I talk you through all of it. Um, I'm going to talk you through part of it today, but I'm probably going to um, not go into as much detail as I do in a tutorial. Otherwise, the film will be super long. Uh, because I don't cut anything out. I do both eyes on camera. I don't normally speed things up but I have done in a couple of these um, sped up if I was doing like a cut crease I'll show you slowly how to do it on this side and then do this side sped up just to try and condense the thing down a little bit um, but yeah let's enjoy uh, my face is washed moisturized SPF'd and primed uh, moisturizer I've been using and loving just lately there's this L'Oreal Age Perfect Cell Renewal Rosy Tone Cream. Really is lovely. I used to use, or I usually use, um, an Olay cream. But I found that over the winter it's not been quite enough for me. My skin needed a little bit more. And I've got this sample of the Revolution Super Fruit Extract which I've also been using, and of course my antiperspirant primer, which is linked in the description below. Uh, the SPF is just a generic one. that I, uh, uh, It's a brand that even I don't recognise the name of, and it came in one of my um, batch boxes. That's what I was. I want to say boxy charm, we don't get that in the UK, so it's like, mm, maybe down with the B. Right, so let's get you zoomed in. So you can see what I mean about I come up proper close as you can see now all I've got on my eyes at the moment is Tarte Shape Tape which I have set with Coty S by now you can see here my eye has already started to run that sadly is hay fever and it's also one of the side effects of fibro which is one of the chronic illnesses I've got so there's not a huge deal I can do about that unfortunately Right, I am going to start off, I'm going to use my, um, one of my uh, Royal and Langnickel brushes from the Chic Pro range and I'm going in with the crease brush. Hello, concentrate on that, there we go. Okay. okay. And I'm going to go into... Now obviously there's an Aries matte and there's an Aries shimmer. There's a Taurus matte, there's a Taurus shimmer. I'm just going to say whether it's Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, whatever. You'll be able to see whether it's matte or shimmer when it goes on my face. So, I'm going to start off with Aries. As you can see, it picks up a crap ton. So I'm just going to tap that off into my colour switch just to 
try and be a little bit neater. And I'm going to start off on this out. Oh, oh, okay, that lays colour down nicely. I'm just going to swing that through the crease in like a windscreen wiper movement. Wow, okay. That really does go on well. Um, I struggle here and here on both eyes to get pigment to lay down um, because of creasing and uh, skin issues, you know, of getting older. Or as Kami said, which I absolutely adored, he said, if you are um, as old as me, or maybe a little bit wiser, and I loved that. So I'm not old, I am wise. <coughs> believe that, you believe any blooming thing. I tell you I can make mistakes as good as a 20 year old. Even though I'm not that far away from being 40 bloody five. So I'm just going over this, picking up little bits of pigment and doing little circular movements. Just to build this pink up and bring it up the eye a bit. Because when I relax my brows I still want to see a good old stripe of that pink. Because I've got deep set eyes, which a lot of people mistake for hooded eyes. Um, but you can see all of my mobile lids, so I've not got hooded lids. Uh, but because I have so much of the lid that folds back in, I mean, if I cover the mobile lid this side and then close my eye, you can see I've got as much lid again that tucks back in. Um, and that, you know, I, I get the same issues of shimmers transferring up onto the upper lid. Um, you know, even when you use glitter glues, glitters will crease and flake. Uh, you know, it's it's just one of those things. But yeah, Anya is an American. I know, shock horror. I'm not actually um, collabing with a Swedish person this time. <laughs> um, she's lovely. She really is. She's very, very sweet natured. Um, and she does some amazing, amazing looks on her channel. She's like me. She, she'll she do a neutral look for you every now and again. But, you know, her love is colour. She's She loves colour like I do. Um, she's bilingual. She speaks uh, English and German. Because, in fact, she, as she said, she, uh, she learnt German before she learnt English. And... Um, She's trying to teach her husband German so that uh, if they have kids, they can teach the kids German as well. It's always a good idea. I mean, if, if you're lucky enough to have, you know, parents that are bilingual, um, it's always a good idea to start teaching kids one, two, three, under trois, eins, zwei, drei, you know, etc, etc. Because then, you know, the younger you are, the more like a sponge your brain is. Um, and find it a lot easier to learn a language, you know? Or learn anything, for that matter. Because it's not overwhelmed with lots of other things that you've learned through your years that, you know, may not necessarily be of help to you. And memories and everything that you've got packed up there. You can see this is, I mean, this is blending out so nicely. I do sort of like stop and, and check back just to make sure that the shapes are the same because obviously my eyes are not symmetrical. So I do just need to make sure that the shape that I'm creating looks the same, both sides. So yay, how's your day been so far? Has it been a good one? I hope it has. And if you're at the start of your day, I hope it's going to be a good one. So, yeah. It's really overcast here again today. It's so frustrating. It's like, on days when I'm in so much pain that I can't physically put makeup on because the 
you know, the, the blending movement is just, it, it's a killer, basically. It's been beautifully bright and sunny and gorgeous. And then on days when I'm about a level sort of six or seven, which for me, believe it or not, is a good day, um, it's been overcast and dull, so I'm kind of relying on my LED strip lights to give me the light next to us kids having fun. I love how those girls play. Right, um, I can tidy that up later with a bit of micellar water or just foundation when I put that on. Right, cleaned my brush off on the uh, washcloth that I have over there. I just find it's more effective than my colour switches because if you get particularly pressed pigments, I had to have a separate colour switch for the blood sugar palette because <laughs> I'd clean a brush off and then I'd go and use a different colour the next day to put a brush in and it'd pick up some of the red that was still in the sponge, so yay. Uh, but they're great for tapping off into because then you keep all your powders in one place. So if you wanted to do a mix of all the colours I've put on my eye this month, it's really easy. Um, right, okay. I'm going to go into, I think, Leo. Just tap that off. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of overlap the pink and just start to blend this Leo and buff it into the edge of this pink because for this particular look I kind of want a good blend. I'm not looking for a more graphic or um, editorial look. I have done those. I uh, had some comments from some people that didn't quite understand that I didn't want it blended, I wanted sharp lines but you know, maybe I just didn't explain it well enough in that film. But you can see, just by slightly overlapping the pink and and all the Aries and blending this Leo in, it's just softening where the two colours meet. So you can't really say where the pink finishes and where the mustard starts. Because that's the kind of look that I'm going for today. And if I think that it's pulled off too much of the pink, I can always pop back into that and just build it back up a little bit, as you can see, without too much trouble. I kind of feel like a fruit salad sweet, which, <clears throat> if you lived in the UK, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And I know my mate Sophie will definitely think this is fruit salad. <laughs> Every time I've done like a pink and a yellow, she's like, oh my god, you like a fruit salad sweet. So, yeah. <laughs> right, cleaned the brush off, and I'm going back into Leo again to do the same with this eye. And again, I have to have a lot of patience on this top corner because of creasing. Um, I also have issues down here as you can see um, because my eye got pulled around an awful lot when I was you know, like five years old because this is the eye that I'm blind in um, so it got pulled around an awful lot when I was a kid um, didn't really notice any difference until I hit sort of mid 30s and then I noticed that I was getting more fallout this side and if I used a pencil liner it was skipping more this side and I'm like mm. And then when I hit 40, I got really, really deep creasing just there. Which, let's say, is a bit of a challenge makeup wise some days. Um, so please be very, very careful with the skin on your eyes. Don't pull it around any more than you absolutely have to. So, yay. I'm actually trying. To learn a language myself at the moment, which I tell you, when you hit my age, trying to learn something new, combined with fibro fog, 
Um, if you're lucky enough not to know what that is, fibromyalgia um, just basically causes random pain anywhere in the body. Um, it also gives me, I mean there's, there's hundreds of different symptoms to fibro and not everybody gets the same ones. Um, I get very runny eyes which can be a real bugger when you try to do a makeup tutorial. Um, I get alodnia, which is really, really severe pain, um, just from the, the lightest little touch, uh, you know, when I'm just rubbing moisturising cream in, it can be absolutely agonising, just the feel of the, the water from the shower, and I've got one of those shower heads that you can, like, twist round and it can be like a, a jet, or it can be like a soft waterfall, or it can be like almost like a, a misting spray and on bad days I have to use it on the misting spray and even then it's absolute bloody agony. Um, I get swelling of my calves and ankles and feet which is great. Um, I get numbness in my left foot which is one of the reasons I had to go to an automatic car. The other one is because my arthritis in my spine got so bad that I just I was really struggling with with clutch work when I got stuck in traffic. So okay, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, and fibro fog basically it, it just it just takes your memory away from you. You, you know, whereas normally you'd be like, oh, I'll just remember what I'm going to the supermarket for. You'll get there and you're like. Oh, remember. Okay, looking at that picture again. Got some deep sort of russety browns um, and then very very deep brown as well because obviously I want to darken this corner up. So initially I'm going to go into um, Gemini but that may not be deep enough. Let's. I'm switching to a Morphe M321 brush. I'm just going to pop this on the outer corner here. Yeah, I don't think that is going to be deep enough, unfortunately. But let's repeat that with this eye so that whatever we do looks the same. Wow, this eye is really, really watering. Sorry, folks. But unfortunately, it's a case of... I have to deal with it. Otherwise, you wouldn't get any videos between sort of March and October. Well, that'd be a way to kill my channel, wouldn't it? <coughs> right, I'm going to go into Sagittarius because that is actually the darkest colour in here. I'm actually, lay it over that brown. It looks quite nice. And I'm just going to very carefully run that through the crease like so. I'm just going to dry it off on my hand a little bit. And then I'm going to very, very lightly do a little circular buffing movements without any additional colour on the brush. So I'm just softening the edges of what I've put down. So I'm kind of using the side of the brush just to soften it a little bit. And just deepening up the outside corner there. I've done quite a lot of spotlight eyes recently, so I kind of want to do something a little bit different today. So, I'll deepen up this outer corner to match. This palette is so lovely. I love BH Cosmetics palettes. They're just... They're so easy to work with. 
I did have a suggestion from one of my viewers um, that I could use both because I've got the original palette as well, the original um, <clears throat> Zodiac palette. And um, I had a suggestion from one of them, one of you, saying, why don't I, oh gosh, you see what I mean about how the watery eyes and the creasing is really not helping just here. Really not helping. really darkened that bit up unfortunately, but it's unfortunately, again, there's not a great deal I can do about that. Um, yeah, she suggested that I used the original Zodiac palette <clears throat> and this Zodiac Love palette and do each star sign. So, you know, we're going to be coming into Taurus soon, we're in Aries at the moment, but like taking the two Aries colours out of here and the two Aries colours out of um, the original Zodiac palette and just seeing how that would work because obviously that would be two mattes, two shimmers and then obviously I could, I could use either of the um, highlights in the middle as well as an additional colour or as the highlight I think that's a great idea. If you'd like to see me do that, then uh, just comment in the box below and let me know. I know uh, Jessica, Stars Hollywood Jessica's done something very similar, but she actually used um, the two BH Zodiac palettes, but she also has the Colourpop Zodiac palette, so she used that as well. So she had five colours she could use. And she's a makeup artist, I'm not. <coughs> I'm just deepening this side up because where this eye ran, it's made that very, very dark. So I'm just deepening up this side just so that we have a good match. As you can see. Hmm, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I'm not going to cut my crease today, I'm just going to pop these on wet, basically. Uh, let me see now, that was that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll use this one. This is one of the Revolution Bendy brushes that they did. It's double-ended, which I don't normally like, but... I got them because for travelling they're great, because obviously you can take fewer brushes. Right, so let me have a look back at that picture again, what have we got in terms of bright colours? We've got that bright pop of blue, uh. and we've got yellows, and we've got white. Okay, so I'm going to go into the uh, initially Scorpio into the mat and I'm just gonna sort of brighten up the mobile eyelid This is a bit of an experiment, folks. But then, you know, if you've watched me any length of time, you know that I tend to experiment live on camera. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes not so much. This is a really good white. This is probably, this is comparable to the white in Anastasia's Riviera palette. It really is beautiful. And you can see it's actually quite quite pigmented as well for a just a white matte that's going on dry. 
because it is covering some of that deeper Sagittarius on the lid. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh. Right, I am going to go into, I think, Cancer next, because that looks stunning. Now, obviously, these are the baked shadows, so you don't need to wet them. The reason I do is because you get a bit less fallout that way. But never go in with a wet brush into a dry palette. So I always get the pigment on the brush and then wet the pigment. I always dry the ferrule off as well so that you don't get anything going down to loosen the glue that's holding the bristles in. And I'm going to start off... Wow, hello. Oh, that's stunning. This is probably going to transfer onto my upper lid through the day. But, come see, come saw, what new? Again, that's a UK thing. Although, I don't know, did you get only fools and horses in America? Did that travel well? So I'm just going to sort of. Pull that across to the lid, nearly taking it to the edge, but not quite. And I'm just going to clean the brush off and obviously dry it off as well on the um, clean washcloth before I go back in to pick up some more for the other eye. Because if you go in, not so much with the baked shadows, but if you make a habit of not putting a wet brush into a set pigment, um, because it can cause a hard pan, which obviously is not good. I mean, a hard pan, you can, you know, you can deal with it. There's plenty of ways you can deal with it. You can, you know, put sticky tape on the top and sort of pull the top layer off, or you can um, use an old spoolie and kind of roughen the surface back up. But eventually, if you keep getting hard pan like that, it will end up mucking up the whole shadow because it'll end up sort of sinking through the actual shadow itself. This is such a pretty colour. I need to play with this palette more. Really need to play with this palette more. And then to finish with, I'm going to go into a Capricorn, well to finish the top lid anyway. Look at that. It's not quite the right shade of blue, but the other shade of, that I've, I've got in here is, um, the other two shades are basically a green or a purple. So, and I'm just going to, so I've got a little mini mirror down here so that I can be really up close and see what I'm doing because if you find us quite a way away when I haven't got my contact lenses in I'm just going to pop this blue right at the edge of that gold and into the Sagittarius mat that we've got on the outer edge I'm just going to pop that on like that then I'm going to flick the brush over to the side that hasn't got any pigment on it. I'm just going to sort of drag the yellow onto the blue and the blue onto the yellow just until we get a nice gradient blend and then just really gently flicker just at the edges there to blend that in. That's so pretty. Such a pretty colour. Really is a pretty colour. Ooh. In, in, electric. Sorry. If you're new to my channel, you, you will find that because I'm half Welsh, <clears throat> I tend to sing quite a bit. It's uh, apparently I was singing almost before I could talk. 
So, yeah. Just gonna brighten that back up over this side, just a fraction. And then, again, pull the gold onto the blue, and the blue onto the gold, and the gold onto the blue. And just really lightly flicker at the edge there, at the very tip of the bristles. And then just pop a little bit more of that blue back on. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, that's, that's going to be on my brain now. All day. Great. Well done, brain. That's, that's, that's just, yeah. Great. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to come off camera now and do foundation and etc. And I'll be back to finish this eye look off. See you instantly. Okay. <clears throat> I am back. Had a brief interruption from the doorbell. Well, door knocker. But it was a item that I'd purchased which I really didn't think I was going to purchase but apparently I did. <clears throat> it's, let's not talk about that right now though, huh? Right, I'm going to go back into Gemini on this flat top brush. I'm going to put this right up to the lower lashes and also running it just up the outside of the, the darker Sagittarius that I used. Because I do want this russety red brown to have its moment because it is in the picture. Here we go, here's where it goes ridiculously deep where it hits that patch where my eye has been watering, but there's not much I can do about that. At least I assume there isn't. If anybody knows any way that you can stop your eyes watering with fibro, do let me know. Because <clears throat> that combined with hay fever. It's not good. So, just pop that on like that. Love getting those. And then I have another little flat top brush here, but it's much chunkier. And I'm going to go into. I think I'll go into Leo, the shade that I used up here, just to smoke out that lower lash line and to mirror the fact that it's kind of the top. I might even take it up the edge there to sort of join. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm really, really interested to see what Anya does with hers. Um, we've been talking about collabing for quite a while. And then we both got tied up with other things. And then she messaged me going, Girl, we still haven't done our collab. And I'm like, oh, holy hell, no we haven't, have we? <clears throat> and I said, would you like to join in with my photo inspiration series or did she have something else in mind that she wanted to do because um, you know I'm quite easy going I'm quite laid back if she wanted to do something different I would have been quite happy with that or if she wanted to start off with her own picture I'd have been happy with that too I just love that I just love collabing and I love that people want to collab with me oh, this eye is really really giving me what for on this outer corner at the moment? Oh, I'm gonna end up with makeup halfway down my cheek at this rate. Right, <clears throat> mm, I'm gonna go into the huge highlighter in the middle of this palette. I'm just gonna run that up under the tail of my brow there. Ooh, that's nice. Oh god, I thought I got that out of my head. No, it's still there. I love that blend there between the gold and that blue. 
really pretty. And I'm going to pop that on my tear duct. And then for my eye shape, I found that it's most flattering if I bring it down just under the, the first bit there and then kind of buff it into the colours that I've put underneath my eye. If that doesn't work for your eye shape, then you know, just put it around your tear duct. Or don't do it at all if you don't want to. I mean, you know, I'm quite happy to walk out of the house looking like this, but I'm aware that some people are not quite as um, <clears throat> nutty as me, maybe. Is that the right adjective? I don't know. Right, anyway, I'm going to pause you one more time while I do mascara, stick some highlighter over my face and choose a lippy. And I'll be right back with the final look. For you to see how well I recreated the photo. See you in a mo. I'm back. Right, just so you know what I have got on my face. Um, I use my number seven Hydro Luminous in porcelain, which is actually the right shade for me. Who knew? Um, concealer wise, I use the Revolution Conceal and Correct in peach, and then a bit of my Tarte Shape Tape. 8B Porcelain Beige. Um, I set my face with Coty Airspun, translucent extra coverage as always. Um, I went in with my Starlet palette, this is the Honeymoon palette. I'm trying to get it so you can actually see the colours. I went in with the Hashtag Forever Bronzer and the First Class Blush. Love this and although I'm a GC affiliate, and my code does earn me commission and every so often they'll put a store credit in for me. I bought this with my own money. In case anybody was wondering before I start getting called out about that. Um, I just really love that. I've, I've really been using that a lot lately. Um, I also dusted over my face because I really quite like the look of this. This is a finish. It's actually a bronzer from, <laughs> bronzer from Wet n Wild called Reserve Your Cabana. I picked up the tip from uh, Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips um, and she dusts it over as like a finishing powder and it's really lovely especially I mean obviously the, the foundation I've used today is a hydroluminous one um, but it's great with um, particularly very very flat matte foundations as well just gives the skin like a skin like finish um, so I literally just dusted that all over with a big old fluffy brush um, highlight, as you know, was the one out in the middle of the Zodiac Love Signs palette. Mascara is the Catrice Cosmetics Glam and Doll Volume Mascara Waterproof. This is an absolute dupe for Benefit Bad Girl Bang, but it's cheaper and it's waterproof. And my lippy is a Revolution Lipstick in Prime, which is a bang on dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. So if you're looking for a cheaper version of that, that's the lippy you need to look for. Setting spray was my Slay All Day in Watermelon. I actually remember what it was without looking at the bottom of it for once. Um, so yeah, there we go. This is the final look. Uh, I'm going to put the picture back up here again for you so you can see it. What do you think? How well did I achieve the look? Would you have done it like this or would you have done it slightly differently? Um, let me know in the comments how you would have done this look and if you've got Insta or a YouTube channel and you want to recreate this um, or do your own version of it, please tag me in the results. I would absolutely love, 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 love to see it. Alright, so there we go. This is my, the look that has been inspired by sake which is a Japanese drink and it's very very alcoholic oh. right now you've watched mine please go over and watch Anya's film and see how she has recreated this photo so far all of the looks have been very very different so it'll be interesting to see exactly how she has uh, put together a look and which palettes she has used. Right, now if you are here from Anya's channel, 
Hi, hello, welcome. I hope you enjoyed watching this slightly nutty half Welsh, half Yorkshire bird who has a tendency to waffle on and start a story and then go all around the houses before I get to the end of it. I really won't be offended if you need to speed me up to watch me because I am aware that any more laid back, I'd be horizontal. Seriously though, it is lovely to have you here and I hope you'd like to stay. Uh, there's a lot of films that I've got up on my channel, you can check out the playlists. Um, this will be in a couple of the playlists. Um, it's in my collabs playlist, but there's all kinds of collabs in there. There's um, my favourite shade from 20 palettes, there's an ASMR collab that I did uh, with Val, there's a single colour collab. Uh, if you're specifically looking for the photo inspiration series, that does have a playlist of its own. If you wanted to go back and have a look at some of the previous pictures and some of the previous people that I have collabed with. Right, okay, please double check you are still subscribed because YouTube does keep unsubscribing people. So all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.